Headshots, welcome back. How you doing? You ready for the stock car challenge? So today we're gonna attempt the stock car challenge, which means I'm only allowed to use stock cars, no upgrades, no blacklist cars. If I lose a race or I get busted, my car is gone and I have to pick a new one that I haven't used yet. I'm gonna start it off with not skipping bosses. I might skip bosses tomorrow if time runs short because this challenge is probably gonna take two days. The game always scales with the performance of your car, but they still have like a minimum level of performance. So Carrera GT is always gonna be faster than some other cars. But they all get scaled down if your car is weak too. I wonder starting in which chapter where the golf is gonna struggle. There's gonna be a few events like drag races, maybe one or two speed traps where the golf is probably gonna struggle against certain opponent cars. We're gonna see. The start is pretty chill, I don't have to worry too much about losing my car, but I did the stock golf challenge before. I know that some races are gonna be so hard, we're definitely gonna lose this car. Too slow. Oh, that's gonna be annoying as fuck. <laughs> I forgot that stock cars are gonna really struggle at speed traps. It's not impossible, but it's definitely harder. My selector. Oh shit, I'm not sure I should do speed trap events. <laughs> Honestly, I think I should avoid speed trap events. Alright, I'm doing a speed trap event and I really hope I don't lose my golf. <laughs> There's a reason. There's a reason why I didn't want to do this, man. And now I'm actually ahead of them too, which means they're gonna rubber band to catch up to me. This is shaping up pretty badly. <laughs> Are we ahead? Oh, we're leading. Holy shit. I don't want to do these events anymore. <laughs> Many things are gonna be rough. The golf is gonna die. There's no way in hell I'm gonna beat this game first try. There's no way every event is gonna be first try in the golf. There's a guaranteed replacement of cars happening. And who came up with this? Eden. Eden told me about his Nuzlocke challenge and I liked it a lot too. Then I did a test stream of Underground. You guys liked it a lot too, so I thought I would do more of it. What cars am I buying? Um, I will buy whatever car is available when I lose my first car. I don't know when I will lose the Golf, but when I lose the Golf, I buy a new car. And then, whatever is available, I'll just pick a... I'll pick a good one. Baron has a drag race. Yeah, that might actually make us lose our Golf. Shit. Bye, Golf. Oh, wait! He fucked up with the traffic! It survives! <laughs> I'll take it. Oh shit, there's another one. <laughs> oh wow, he's going really fast now. This might be our first loss. Yep. Too much rubber band. Bye bye, golf. Time for a new car. That's our first death. Bye bye. <laughs> I mean, we don't need any of these. We're not allowed to use any of these cars either. So let's go to the dealership. Let's buy ourselves a car. Let's see what is available to us. The SL500, the Evo, the Mustang, Dude, these are all really weak. I think I'm gonna take the Evo. It's cheap and way better than the rest. So it is a bit faster than Golf. And as I thought, the handling is not that bad. I think we are gonna utilize this car for quite a bit. But yeah, the first victim has been claimed. The Golf made it for like four and a half chapters. Sadly, I have to redo the cops too. Like, if I wanted to go for, like, the fastest strategy possible, I probably would have done the cop chases first. Yeah, the mayor kicked us straight to level 3. We need 6 new subs? Oh, shit, I should have lost my car. Fuck! I don't think, I don't think I can bring that back. That was so much rubber band by the Audi, how does it even work? No! Oh, come on. Well, buy Evo, I guess. I'm not using that car. The Evo is shit. Let's use the Mustang. Oh, man. All, all the cars here are so damn slow. Super is really bad. Let's pick the clear. Ah, shit. I should have used the speed breaker. Come on. Yes, that's what we were looking for. The extra grip. We have binned two cars. The Golf and the Evo. And maybe the, the clear is next. Baron just really ran away with it at the end there. Yep, clear is dead too. I don't think the SL500 really has much of a chance. The Mustang, maybe. I could try the Mustang. The Punto will handle it. <laughs> okay, if the Mustang doesn't beat him, 
I will I will try to burn some of the weaker cars. I do hope that this car is gonna do well in the drag. The drag the drag races are usually the ones where you had to use like multiple tries, five, ten, sometimes more, to beat the blacklist, so that's what I'm most afraid of. The thing is you can beat the game in any car, as long as you use upgrades. If you put yourself on the no upgrade diet, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit harder. This is the thing, I'm not sure how the drag race is gonna go at all. He is really fast here, and he doesn't really crash, so we might lose a lot of cars. Come on Baron, make a mistake. Make a mistake for us. Hit the brakes, do something, come on Baron, let us pass. You take it. Yeah, drag race is, is really a problem. Usually you have to retry drag race over and over and over again until you get a lucky, a lucky streak. So we could try to work through the starter cars. I wonder how that Cobalt is gonna do in the drag race. <laughs> you know, the only thing that I can think of, in order to beat the blacklist more consistently, we could try to skip all the blacklist members that have a drag race. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of hoping he crashes, I guess. <laughs> that possibility is still here. Go on, Baron, totally a car, man. Didn't even give me a chance, man. Buy Cobalt, buy Mustang. Hey, the one time actually I'm allowed to use NOS. On my way to the dealership, buying a new stock car. To try a new song. <laughs> Clips. Whatever, you I'll pick the SL500. It's the fastest, the fastest the most expensive car we can use right now. Really okay, I think the race is gonna be fine. I'm not sure how the drag... I really hope the car is good enough for the drag race. Knock him off with speed break at the start. Shit. I lost control of the car so hard. He didn't die. I think that is exactly how I beat, how, how I beat him with the golf. Like, I fucked him into the wall. But it didn't work this time. I don't see, I don't see how we're gonna beat Baron. <laughs> it just doesn't work, man. Dude, Baron is just so fucking fast. But I know that's how I beat him with the golf, like, I cut him off. I cut him off with speed breaker, crashed him into the wall, to a point where he couldn't move anymore, and then I beat him. What if I block him off right in the beginning? I mean, now it's over anyways, but... I'm kinda curious if I could've beaten... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I would've won, man. <laughs> That's how I would have won. I needed to get in front of him and then speed break him to a truck. <laughs> that would have. I actually have a chance here, guys. We might be able to block off Baron. Wouldn't it be fun if the Supra is the car that actually is gonna win us the the race against Baron? Although Baron seems really slow. I think the game actually realized how many times we lost against Baron. Like the game is having mercy on us. Like a mercy system, because he already lost so many times against Baron. Now he's weaker. Wait, a speed breaker for the win, right? <laughs> yes! Ah, eat shit! <laughs> he's just he's just parked against the wall, perfect. GG. The same fucking strategy that I used with the golf, it's still working. You know what the trick was? I had to push him more than 90 degrees. If I push him more than 90 degrees and he actually fights back, his car will still face the wall. Kuru tactics. I gotta be perfectly honest, the stock Supra might actually... It feels better than Vic Supra. I don't know what's wrong with Vic Supra that it feels so weird. The stock Supra actually feels better. The Supra might be one of those cars that has low stats, but is actually a fast car. That's why the opponents are actually nerfed more than they should be. How is Earl 60 faster than me? That is a guaranteed loss already. There is no way we can have 60 extra kilometers on the last speed trap. Bye Supra. Okay, I could take the GTO, the Nara, which is the same, or the Cayman. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a good car first. How many cars did we lose? Good question. We burned a lot of cars on Baron. Seven? Really? Is it seven cars already? If he gets ahead of you, you're done. You don't get it. You don't get back. Bye, Earl. Wee. <laughs> Shit, I forgot to skip jewels. I wanted to skip jewels because the drag race might be really, really hard to do. Cayman's a pretty good car. That's gonna that's gonna serve as well. Fun fact. 
My very first speedrun of Most Wanted used the Cayman. Before we realized how massively overpowered the Golf is when it's upgraded, I actually switched to Baron's Porsche to do my first run. Shit, man, we actually got stuck in condition 2 cops. Well, by Cayman. I didn't think, didn't think that is how we would lose our, our Cayman, man. Alright, uh, Cayman's done. RX-7? Think so? Let's go for it. Dude, that RX-7 is actually quite beefy. It does 280 on stock. That is actually, that's actually better. That's actually way better than the Cayman. Why do you go off the track and onto the sidewalk, man? It's so stupid. Okay, I have no idea if we can beat Jules on the drag race. I'm so afraid of the drag race. I think we're gonna have to block off Jules. Be kidding me, man. Rubber band Jules. God fucking damn it. Money wise, we're doing pretty well. Okay, I'm really... Well, we do have all-wheel drive, so we should have fast initial acceleration, but the drag race... I'm gonna try and block her off, I think. Because as long as we're leading, I don't need to cheese anymore. Okay. <laughs> we definitely 100% lost this event. Time for a new car. So, what do we have? I can pick the Elise now. And the CLK 500. I have no idea if the Elise is fast enough. On stock, whatever, let's try out. <laughs> Man, the Elise is so light, it can't even get through more than one, ca one car. And it definitely cannot get through any other cars that are heavier. <laughs> Fucking hell, this car is shit. <laughs> I wasn't even fast enough to trigger the speed breaker, which would actually allow me to break through here. Like, you have to have a certain minimum speed to even activate the speed breaker. And the car just has so much wheel spin that you don't really get to activate it. Whoa, Gaza, so cool. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was good, Gaza, that was good. <laughs> what the fuck? That was, that was interesting, to say the least. But it worked. Oh. Nope. No chance. Unsurprisingly, the Elise is just terrible against cops. Carrera S? DB9? So that one has more top speed and more handling. Yeah, I like this. Porsche time. But like about the Porsche, it's a lot ha uh, harder. A lot heavier than the others. You gotta be careful. If he rubber bands to catch up to us, he might destroy the speed trap. And he did. He actually did destroy the last speed trap. I think we were like 40 ahead and he just he just got that back. Uh, did we just lose? Fuck, dude. I hate speed trap events, man. Speed trap events are just a really bad idea. They always have been, man. If we lose all cars, it's game over. Man, I really hope they could use that car more. Whatever. Bad the time. Oh, the wheel spin is really bad. Really, really bad. Like, I can't even... I can't turn around anymore. That's the issue. It usually can turn around if you're not in the perfect spot, but... I don't think it can turn around anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me drive. I need a boost, man. It is so shit when you don't have nitrous, man. So, Kiara gone, Viper gone, Carrera gone. I guess we can use the DB9. I do what the hell game. <laughs> what? Why is everything invisible? Holy shit. I mean, the cars you can pick now from the dealership, they're all fairly decent. But they do have the limitations. Just not having NOS is the biggest one, in my opinion. NOS gives you a lot more control over your car. Bad Webster. <laughs> oh, he is stuck. Well, that's fucked, huh? I was just about to escape too, man. I was just about... I just did all the trade pains, bro. Now this challenge is hard. Actually, the Turbo S might be faster looking at the stats. Let's give it a try. Okay. I think we, we still have a chance here. Nah, no chance. And the Turbo is gone. 
Luckily, we are actually increasing our cash, so I don't think we run... I don't think we run the danger of running out of money. But we are running the danger of running out of cars. I think this car is actually quite a bit better than the turbo. Although the stats don't really indicate it. Dude, I Let's can't beat those guys. Back. They are rubber bandy as fuck. Dude, this event is bullshit! Oh my god, another car lost. This event is complete cancer, man. I could have, I could have done a speed trap instead. It would have been, it would have been more consistent. This event killed two cars. Okay, dead, 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 not dead. The GTO? No, the GTO is still available. If the CLK dies, I have the GTO. But honestly, I don't know how we're gonna beat the drag race against JV. Okay, not even close. What the hell? I guess we're gonna retire the car. Car survived for literally one race, and that was too slow for speed traps. So, I haven't used the Monaro yet. There's a really good chance that we can't beat a JV. At least not in the stock cars that I have at this point. Because the fastest cars that I had, I lost before I did the speed traps. So there was definitely some error in planning. Uh-oh. GG. I can still get the GTO. <laughs> now that the Monaro is dead, I can get the GTO, poggers. Okay, so I'm ahead, but if he finishes a single second ahead of me, I lose. You should be fast, Monaro. What are you doing? You're not, you're not in the finish line yet, Monaro. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and it's gone. So... I used... I even used the SL500, the Evo, the Mustang. I haven't used the CTS yet. <laughs> okay, we have to skip, man. We have to skip JV. I have no car that can be JV. Just to put it into perspective, just like the Stock Golf Challenge, you have, absolutely have to skip JV. Unless, unless you actually keep your Corvette or the Gallardo around. Sadly, I lost those two. Like, those are the two best cars you could have right now. And there's just no way in hell any of the other cars can beat JV. So, we're gonna continue the challenge with Ronnie. Oh man, what a difference, dude. <laughs> what a fucking difference, man. A car with speed and grip. Oh, what a nice feeling. What a nice feeling, dude. Oh yeah, you're right, the Messi Lago and the Ford GT. Okay, let's do the Ford GT first. Fuck, half of my money is gone. If I ever do this challenge again, I will use the cars in order. I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 32. What is this position, dude? Unbelievable. <sighs> Another one bites dust. All right, Messi Lago. Honestly, that's the only good car that I have left right now. I must not lose this one. This game is ass, man. I, I think that's GG. I don't have any good cars anymore. The problem is the cars just don't have any pushing power when you don't when you can't use the nose. I can use a shit car to do the cops, but what am I gonna beat Ronnie with? I haven't used RX-8 yet. All right, we should be ready for the boss fight. We have some really slow cars for Ronnie here. To be fair, the challenge might simply die because I lost too many of the good cars during the cop chase. Yeah, he's rubber banding like crazy. Bye bye RX-8. Kill Ronnie! <laughs> hey, he has Alzheimer's. How convenient. Okay, I still have the Lexus, the Punto and the Co No, the Cobalt is dead. There's the Audi TT, the A3, the Eclipse. Also the A4. The CTS is still available. But it doesn't look like this car is gonna win against Ronnie either. Eh, uh, already dead. <laughs> He's already dead. <sighs> okay, so... Let's go in reverse. A4 is next. It's like... Yeah, it's, it's like racing against... a Holy rubber band. <laughs> against the McLaren in a house. <laughs> nice one, Ronnie. <laughs> Ah, fantastic. Got him. <laughs> That's the first win. Only took us five minutes of blocking. Perfect. Oh, and now I get stuck on traffic. Shit, let's go. Oh, we just need to block him. We just need to block him for half the race and we're good. 
<laughs> oh shit, we might be able to beat Ronnie. We might be able to beat Ronnie in this car. Ooh, Ronnie has to make a mistake somewhere. Ronnie, crash, please! I don't want to do this again in another car. Ah, uh, we had the chance. He's just unstoppable right now. No chance, dude. Not even close. Half a kilometer. God damn it, dude. I wonder if I could have won that if I blocked him there at first. Well, we have a few more cars. Okay. So... Eclipse. Overtake. Wait a second. <laughs> Do not give me the power of Speedbreaker. I will abuse it. <laughs> okay, I think we can win the second race, too. It, it's gonna come down to the third event again. I think we got him. I think we actually beat Ronnie in this car. Eclipse overpowered. <laughs> Holy shit. I really thought the run is dead, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. I 100% thought the run is dead, man. Okay, we're definitely skipping ball. Straight razor. The Carrera GT is the best car. So we're gonna use the SLR first. I'm gonna use the Eclipse for the cop chases and then the SLR for races. That's the plan. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. no. Don't get stuck! No! <laughs> I was so close too! I hate off-road parts, man. You lose so much performance. You lose so much performance off-road. It sucks. Like, the cars are already ass, and then you go off-road, it gets worse. Stock SLR. Has a good, has a really good amount of performance for a stock car. You don't understand why I... Wow. That was clutch. <laughs> I didn't even use the speed breaker to get through there. We're gonna have to finish this challenge another time. I might, I might do it as some bonus content during the Need for Speed Marathon. I will definitely keep the save file and finish this. Play tight, definitely come back in two days and 